subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and I follow, follow WW. And I currently get 23 points a day. For some reason, I wanted to say 21, but it is 23 points a day, and I get 21 weeklies, I believe. I think last time I made a mistake, it said I get 28 weeklies, but I don't. I only get 21. But anyhow, it is Wednesday morning. I'm just getting ready for work, and I'm going to make me a little breakfast. I have been really, for the last few weeks or so, craving fast food and just eating out in general. I don't know what's going on with that. I've been pretty good about not doing it. We haven't had any fast food so this morning i'm gonna make me like a fast food sorry that's my dog i'm gonna make me a fast food knockoff just an english mcmuffin is that what no <laughs> so this morning i'm gonna make me a fast food knockoff breakfast sandwich i'm just gonna do the traditional mcmuffin from mcdonald's it'll come together super easy and in the meantime i'm just gonna throw together an iced coffee and i'll show you what it looks like you'll see me make breakfast sandwiches a thousand times Here's my coffee this morning. It is really my go-to, I will say. I have been using not, no creamer here lately and just using like syrups instead. Just to save the calories and points since I'm back on weight loss mode. I don't enjoy it as much. It's not as creamy, but it definitely saves me a point in the morning. But since my sandwich is pretty low point, I'm going to go ahead and have some zero sugar caramel macchiato creamer. Usually I have two creamers on hand. I haven't for a few weeks and I'll have to say I'm kind of like missing that. So probably not even a tablespoon. So one point coffee for the Starbucks. Okay friends, here is my finished breakfast sandwich. And of course the coffee. The coffee is one point for the creamer and this sandwich is only four points. It's a lower calorie English muffin for three points and then a Bella Vita cheese slice for one point and it has a uh, egg on there and then a piece of Canadian bacon, Jones Farm, one piece of zero point, and then a little side of cantaloupe. And the cantaloupe is so delicious right now. But if you wanna see how I prepared this knockoff egg McMuffin sandwich, stay tuned. I'm gonna do like a fast food breakfast series, knocking off a whole bunch of my favorite food. Because I will say before I started my health and fitness journey, I would eat out breakfast on the way to work probably three times a week. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, those were my go-to breakfast places. Not anymore. Now I say I only do it maybe once a month, if that. So, okay, let me get busy. Okay, before I eat, I'm thinking about it. So you gotta do it when you think about it. You know what it is? Take the meat out of the freezer. <laughs> I swear, I'm not horrible about like forgetting it. But it does happen on occasion, and I have learned. If you think about it in the morning before work, do it right that second. Don't say, oh, I'll do it after I get ready, or I'll do it after I make my breakfast. Do it right when you think. So we are having firecracker. Um, you know what? I don't think this is the turkey I planned on using. No, it is not. Womp womp. That turkey is not zero points, and I wanted a zero point turkey breast. So, I'm using the 99% lean ground turkey. So, that'll be for dinner. It's a really good recipe and I haven't had it in a while. And I'm actually doubling it. So, back to inside. Now I can eat. I'm having my favorite go-to salad for lunch. The Sesame Sweet Asian from H-E-B. And I always bulk it up by adding a cucumber and serving it with some grilled chicken breast. Also had another side of cucumber, not cucumber, cantaloupe and a big red diet so i finished lunch and i want a little something sweet so i'm gonna have one of these bear fruit rolls it is only one point for the pack and this is how they come you just get two of these little dried fruits they're pretty good they're just you know dried fruit i have about five minutes before a meeting and so I figured I would just come outside and take a little walk around the track ah, just to relax for a second and get some steps in. I'm only at like 3600 and it's already almost four o'clock 
So not doing great there. It's really hard at work. Um, if y'all have any motivation or tips, if you have an office job of how to make sure you're moving, uh, please let me know. I always say like, I'm just gonna break and go walk for a minute, but then I just never find the time. So uh, used to, when I was 100% in the lab, I would get 10,000 steps a day, like easy peasy. Now it's just really rare that I barely get 5,000 before I leave work. So, okay, see y'all in a bit. I am getting ready for my drive home and I'm gonna have a boiled egg. It has a ton of pepper and salt. And then I have a small banana and two pieces of cantaloupe left over for lunch. So zero points for this ride home snack. So me and little Rio are going for a little walk. We're gonna do about, what do we say, a mile Rio? 1.2 miles on our, our area. <laughs> He's already dying. Just to get some steps in. So tonight's dinner, I'm having this firecracker ground turkey. It's from Light Cravings. There's the, feel focused, there's the website. I absolutely love this. It's been quite some time since I've had it, but obviously whatever ingredients you use, that'll determine your points. I'm actually doubling the recipe as well. I'm gonna use two pounds of lean ground turkey. This one, the 99%, I won't have to count points for, but my grocery store didn't have another one of those, so I went ahead and picked up the 97, which I do have to count points for, so that's kind of sad. And then you add apple cider vinegar, ah, Frank's Red Hot sauce, garlic powder. It also asks for uh, ground ginger, which I actually am out of, so I'm gonna use these frozen crushed gingers that I get from Trader Joe's unsweetened applesauce, and then brown sugar, which I'm using a sugar substitute to keep it lower in points, red pepper flakes, and two cups of any vegetables you like. I'm gonna use these frozen ones I buy from Trader Joe's. I really like those in there. And the only other thing it calls for is one tablespoon or teaspoon of cornstarch. I am out of cornstarch, which is shocking to me, but this will come together really, really easily. I may or may not serve it over rice. Who knows? We'll see. I'm actually not completely doubling it because it it calls for 1.2 pounds of ground turkey. For So for doubling it would actually be 2.5 pounds and instead I'm only using two, but I'll double the sauce component. So one teaspoon of ground garlic powder. I never measure, I just season with love. Give it some salt, lots of pepper, crushed red pepper. Like I said, I'll link the recipe down below so you can have the exact measurement. And since I don't have ground ginger, I'm gonna put a few of these in, probably three or four. I really enjoy these. Makes it really easy to not have to prepare fresh ginger. You just pop them right out. I'm gonna do four, we really like ginger. The recipe tells you to take the meat and make it into little balls with your hands before cooking it. I don't have time for that. I don't know who would do that. <laughs> no, I just, it's not worth it to me at all. While that cooks, I'll go ahead and make the sauce. And for this, I will measure. I've done it measuring and not measuring and I preferred it when it, I measured. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's a third of a cup. But since I'm doubling it, you want two thirds of buffalo sauce. And I like Frank's, hopefully I have enough. Ooh, that's gonna be a tiny bit short. Let's see what else I got. So I have this little bottle, I'm just gonna add to it as well. Seems similar-ish. Exactly two thirds. And then a half a cup of applesauce. These are almost exactly half a cup, so I'll add both of these in. A fourth of a cup of brown sugar, so I'm gonna use half of a cup. Hopefully I have enough of this too. Yeah, I will. 
So this is only a fourth of a cup, so I'm gonna do it twice. And one tablespoon apple cider vinegar or rice wine vinegar. It calls for one, so since I'm doubling it, I'm gonna do two. And my bottle's messed up. I don't know what happened. It wasn't like that when I bought it in the grocery store this week, so who knows? There you go. But that's gonna be annoying. It like won't sit up on its own, I don't think. Yeah, how annoying. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Ugh. So that's all. Cornstarch would go in there, and I don't have it, and that is sad because that's what would thicken it up. So it just is what it is. You could add your vegetables directly to the pan and typically that's what I do, but that's where a lot of the moisture comes from, is from your frozen vegetables. And since I don't have cornstarch, I'm actually gonna heat my vegetables separate so it doesn't make this too watery. And this mix of vegetables is zero points, so I'm just gonna thaw them back there. Go ahead and add the sauce components. Okay, so now we're just gonna stir this all up and heat it through while our vegetables heat up over there. Once the vegetables are heated up, all combined. If you use real brown sugar, it'll thicken up really nicely too because it gets gooey, but the, I find the sugar replacements don't work well for that consistency aspect. I found one rogue green onion, so I'm gonna put the whites in because it did call for green onions. I just didn't have any which I'm regretting that decision because I actually really love it topped with green onions. But I have chives, but I'm gonna add this in there. Not the rubber band. Okay, the vegetables are nice and cooked. I'm actually gonna drain them so I don't add too much liquid to the pan. So I already had this recipe built in my tracker from a long time ago, but it was using like a different brand of meat, different brand of hot sauce, so I updated everything for this brand. And if you make this as six servings, which this pot pan is huge, ginormous. I think it's like a 12 cup saute pan or something. If this is six servings then it's four point each, mainly the points come from the 97% lean ground turkey, but mainly from that sugar substitute. That one's like not fully zero points. But anyhow, four points if it's six servings. If it's five servings, it's five points. And then if it's four servings, it's six points. So it's like reversed. But I think this will be six servings for us. So I'm going to do four points of this. And then I'm going to put it over a one cup of jasmine rice for a 10 point dinner. Let me show you. My good old Trader Joe bag rice. Load it up. And to top it off, some chives from the garden. So this is the finished product. I'm hoping it's yummy. I haven't done any taste, taste test as you go. I have in my Invisalign, I gotta take that out. But it came together in about 30 minutes. It definitely could be quicker if I didn't separate the like vegetables that took a little while longer. But I think it helped it not to get watery. If you didn't wanna spend the six points on the rice, you definitely could just leave it out or you could do cauliflower rice or hearts of palm. There are other lower point options, but I am pretty low in points. Even with that 10 point bowl, I'm only at 21 points today. So I'll definitely probably have me a little snack later tonight. Santa? No, no more. Poor Ash. I'm sorry, Ash. So that is it, friends. I am ending the night. I didn't have anything else. I really thought I would and I wanted to, but then I sat there and um, once we finished, we were watching, 
Oh my goodness. We watched A Mass Singer. And when that was over, um, the CMAs were on. And I got sucked into that. And I kept saying, I'm going to go shower and then have a snack. Well, I ended up watching like the whole thing. And so now I feel like it's too late to have a snack. And I still need to shower. So that's it. I'm ended the day with 21 points. I did really good. And I have to say I stayed pretty much full all day. The only time I was hungry was like right around 4 o'clock before I had my snacks on my way home. So that's it. Bye. Rio says bye.